Let me look for who. Oh, there's classic. This is what I was looking for. Okay, identify the structure occupied by the arrow. Bronchiole. A bronchiole. Say, why why aren't we calling it respiratory bronchiole? No alveoli. Okay, so respiratory bronchiole signifies there's some alveoli along the side. In fact, we followed this one when I saw this one. Ooh, look, look. See, because I can follow it. Follow this branch down. Now what are we in? Respiratory, respiratory bronchiole. And follow it on down. And now what are we in? Alveolar, Alveolar duct. It's a very serendipitous cut that goes from uh, bronchiole, respiratory bronchiole, alveolar duct, okay, and, and is going to end down here in an alveolar sac. So, so there's a very good progression from no exchange of gases, some exchange of gases, lots of exchange of gases, right? That answer your question, Barb? That's why we're calling respiratory bronchioles. Identify the structure indicated by the pointer. Huh? I think that's pulmonary vein. It's kind of away from any major airway. Okay? I think it's pulmonary vein. Another good example of respiratory bronchial going into alveolar duct, going into um, alveolar sac. Major vessel. See, here's some more. What, what I was looking for is, to, Barb's question there, some more bronchioles. Okay? Now, see, there's a good example of a bronchiole with a pulmonary artery sitting right next to it. A, a typical, nice, oh, uh, test quality view of such a pair. Okay? And, and by the way, you know, I, I joke about test quality on stuff, but I would never go, okay, identify the vessel. There's not enough there, is there? To tell if that's a, an artery or vein. I mean, there's some muscle, and I, and I realize that, but, but if I am going to ask that question, it would look more like this. Because there's the bronchiole with its cuboidal epithelium lining it, and then the artery right next to it. Okay, you have to have the clue to know for sure what it is. Lee? Bronchial artery or pulmonary artery? It's pulmonary. It, it's a branch of the pulmonary artery. Yes. Branch of the pulmonary artery. Another feature of this stuff that we're looking at. Okay. Now this is a, a different prep. Organ and field of view is? Lung. Okay. And um, uh, the... Oh, good example. Structure occupied by the arrow is a alveolar an alveolar sac. Very good. Okay, another alveolar sac. We're going to find uh, clumps of uh, what here? What do you think that is? Lymphoid. Lymphoid tissue, yeah. This is a thick section, and so the stained things really look different. Okay. Ah, what's this? Identify the structure in whose lumen the arrow t ends. Bronchial. And, and, you see, this is the smooth muscle, and this is like columnar or cuboidal epithelium. The thick slide is hard to see, hard to interpret. You know, so be aware of it. Uh, identify, okay, identify the cavity in which the arrow exists. Alveolus. Alveolus. Identify the cavity in which the arrow exists. Alveolus. Name and sequence everything the arrow has to go through to get from this cavity to this cavity, right through there. You want me to name it for you? Okay. Simple squamous alveolar cell type 1. Basement membrane. Basement membrane. Simple squamous endothelial cell of the capillary. Red blood cell. Simple squamous endothelial cell of the capillary, basement membrane, basement membrane, simple squamous epithelial type 1 cell of the alveolus, lumen of second alveolus. That's all there. 
That's that respiratory membrane that we said that we needed to know, yes. And it's all there between these two alveoli. Okay. It's there between those two alveoli, and that little jumble of stuff. Okay. Now, oops, I shouldn't have gone to that high of power. This, this is high power here. Okay, this, this is the high power. This is looking through there. Up in the corners here, these cuboidal cells, this is where we're going to find uh, type 2 cells, macrophages crawling around and stuff, and all that kind of thing.